Good morning, I'm Michael from Moat Monster Gaming, and if you enjoy the video, please like and subscribe. So today I'm opening Transformers the Movie Studio Series 86 Cup. So here he is in his little box, a uh, picture of Cup kind of leaning into action here, glass fronted box. I can see in the background there is a background which we can display him with afterwards. Uh, got guns and stuff on the side, he's like tricorder. And then at the back says Cup Transforms in 21 Steps. Now I love the Transformers the movie figures um, because I love Transformers the movie, I have all the original ones. Uh, and here is my original Cup. So actually roughly the same size, but this one transforms in about three moves and kind of doesn't actually look anything like Cup. Whereas this one I'm hoping is going to be a little bit more accurate. So, let's bust him open. So, there they are. But, inside, I do like that the Studio Series Transformers ones, they come with these really, really cool backgrounds to display them with. Uh, unfortunately, I think they then end up taking too much space and I never use them, but I do think it's a nice little touch. So there's the bit where he's getting ripped apart by the octopus monster until Hot Rod comes and saves him. But we'll put him to one side. Okay, so here they are. Let's clip them out of their plastic. So let's pop all the pieces out. So here, this is like some sort of tricorder for Cup to be investigating things with. Gun. And then Cup. As just a figure, it looks like they are going to be very, very poseable on the shelf. Now... My old G1 figures I tend to display as vehicles or animals and my modern ones I tend to display in their robot mode. So actually, like there's loads of articulation. You can imagine all sorts of, I'm not sure Cup can do a high kick, but there's Cup doing a high kick. We've got him getting ready to throw a punch. Yeah, loads and loads of movement. Head rotates and swivels nicely. And just having a look... I'm not sure about this kind of see through -y piece at the front. That kind of feels a bit odd to the rest of them, but I imagine that's going to make more sense when it's actually in car mode. So, oh, well, at least it goes back on easy. Same with the other one. And nice, obviously, Autobot logo. It looks like it's all going to fold away nicely. Back legs look quite blocky. But actually, yeah, cup looks quite cool. Let's try put in oh that was a bit stiff not sure captured the old timer feel that cup's supposed to have but they do pose nicely I'm just I suppose I'm just ultimately not sure about the face but Let's have a quick look at the instructions. But look, definitely, definitely gonna pose nice in action robot mode. So here are the instructions. So, okay, look straightforward enough. I do find with the modern ones, I'm a bit fingers and thumbs with them. And so, I mean, this is right back at the start. So at, this, at the time Cup came out, you could only get Jazz, Blur and Cup, uh, both of which I still need to get. I've only got G1 versions. But... OK, let's have a go at transforming them. OK, so I've had a play and unnecessarily complicated for an old timer like myself. But here we go. Here is transforming Cup. So let's have a quick look. What shall we do first?
go. Done-ish. So it just probably needs a bit more of a shove to together. But I do like cup, but they are very plain when they are in their futuristic car mode. Always feel it looks a bit like a sledge. Um, do like that the gun, as with a lot of the others, clips in on the side. And then this here clips in on that side quite nicely. So comparing it to my G11, which literally I think is only going to take a second or two to transform. It's a bit smaller than G11. But there we go. Transformers the Movie Studio Series Cup. Thank you very much for looking. Take care. Ugh. <sighs>